How's it going guys? Chris Calder here with part 13 of my Rapid Composer tutorial series. This one's covering drag and drop and it matches a chapter in the revised manual of the same name. So what I have going is uh, Rapid Composer and Reaper together. Uh, they're using separate audio interfaces. I, uh, Reaper's using a Line 6 tone port right now and Rapid Composer is using an M-Audio Delta 66. And as a lot of you know, any of you guys familiar with ASIO interfaces, you can never have two different programs use the same interface. ASIO likes to hog your system and that's why it's such a good driver because it, you know, low latency and all that stuff. So, but in this case, you know, since I have both programs in standalone mode, I, uh, you know, I'm just using two different audio interfaces, but when you have Rapid Composer as a VST, it's a lot easier to drag and drop into your DAW, you know, obviously, because, you know, you're just using the one ASIO interface and everything's, you know, like under one umbrella. So, but in this case, you know, I'm just showing you how to do it in standalone, but again, you'll need two audio interfaces if you want to do it this way. All right, so I put a phrase on my track and I put a progression, G, D, C, A minor. Uh, tempo is 100 and I have Reaper matching that tempo. Um, if you don't have, you know, your, your DAW uh, tempo matching Rapid Composers, um, Reaper intelligently kind of changes the tempo for you when you, after you click and drag, which is really great. I don't know if other DAWs do that, but um, here's how you drag and drop, very easy. So you put your mouse on the track header and you hold control on Windows and you just left drag into a track and then Reaper is going to ask you, you know, like, do you want to merge source tempo map, you know, to blah, blah, blah. And, you know, of course, you're going to click OK. You'll notice that the tempo of Reaper changes from 85 to 100. And there's our, you know, Rapid Composer phrase. It's that easy. And then if you want to drag your entire composition, Here's what we do. We're going to add a couple tracks. We're going to make this a bass line or a bass instrument and a bass line. And all I did was hit the letter B to fill that track with bass generators. And then for this track, we're going to use the instrument, I don't know, guitar, I guess. And we're going to make it a finger picking track. So we're going to fill it with finger picking generators with the letter N. So now we have a composition that is, you know, four bars, whatever, just for demonstration purposes. And to click and drag the whole composition, you hold control over this main thing, you know, where it's where you do new composition, open. And by the way, um, this is totally new. Uh, you can use templates now with Rapid Composer. So if you have tracks that you love and like a certain chord progression you always use or whatever, instruments, you can save it as a template. See where it says add current composition as template. Very useful stuff. So, you know, you could just do new composition, it'll just be fully blank, you know, with the 1451 progression, or you could you could use templates and just click that and it creates, you know, your setting for your instruments, all that stuff. Very useful new feature in Rapid Composer. Um, so if we want to drag our entire composition, we hold control and we mouse right here, you know, our basic uh, composition settings, like our file composition settings. And we actually let me erase that from Reaper and go back into Rapid Composer. And then, you know, holding control, left drag, and it looks like one thing, but what it's going to do in Reaper is it says expand three source tracks to new Reaper tracks, and it's going to merge the project tempo. You know, obviously it's still at 100, so it doesn't matter. Bam! So basically, you have track one of Rapid Composer, you have track two and you have track three. It's that easy. I'm sure it's the same in a lot of other DAWs. Uh, I don't know. I mean, Reaper's my main DAW. So uh, that's pretty much how you drag and drop. Nothing to it. Hold control, drag this for, the, for uh, more than one track. Hold control, drag the track header if you want to just do one track at a time. That easy. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.